This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what, I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick and for that I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time! That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do... We've got him. We've got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the... Who, what? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys. What's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yan, yan, yan. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! Aha! Ah! Ah! Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin. Why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all. Just get me safely out of here. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes. And that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kenny was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see... When humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child, 
A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Guinea is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Princess Kitty, come back here! All right, well, that was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a uh, uh, plot dump and everything like that. We didn't care so much when the uh, old dude uh, talked about uh, about the uh, stick of truth and everything, but as soon as Morgan Freeman came by, we were we were all up in arms <laughs> to do that. So, looks well, like Kenny has unfortunately betrayed us. And if you check the party, she is not available to be chosen. Yes, the final boss of the game is Kenny and the government dude who, for some reason, decided to take off all his clothes. Hmm. Yes. Uh. Well, I guess if you found out you had ultimate power, would the first thing you do to also take off your clothes? No? You wouldn't? Are you sure? Really? Really? You're not sure? Are you sure? I mean, I mean, I don't know what I would do. I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, I could use that star thing, but we'll just, uh, ooh, we have an upgraded thief, uh, thief hood. Let's see. Actually, no. Is that? Okay, hold on. Okay, we did finally get an upgrade to the hood there, so. Um, I kind of like the crown just because of the look. Well, let's see what my thief hood gives me. Let's see, increase max HP, defense down on perfect targets for some bleeding. I don't even know if the final boss can bleed, actually. Do you bleed? I don't know. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just wear the crown. I don't know, I just, I just like, let's see. Increase HP to 400. Take off the old armor. Let's see. When I have, I have the main weapon does a lot of damage. Okay. What does this one give me? Just more HP and everything. Increase HP by 400. Perfect attack drains 200 HP. I mean, I probably don't even need to really do all this, like, really work onto it, but yeah. I'll, do the f I'll just do the armor add, because most of my stuff is done from a. Uh, Let's see, what does this get one? 20% uh, damage versus bleed targets. Yeah, the f last uh, bad thing is a lot of, like, in-game stuff kind of gets slightly immune to a lot of that. Uh, okay, remove that. And then let's upgrade that one. Let's see. Where was that damage one again? Okay, I think we're good. Any uh, last minute things before we go up and fight uh, Princess Kenny? This is the final battle of the game and the finale. So, uh, yeah, I didn't talk very much during that cutscene before, and I probably won't talk very much except during the combat. So, uh, if, if nothing else, I'll see you at the end of the game. All right, let's do it. Let's save the world. Oh, we get last Welcome, little shot. Welcome, weary adventurers. You know, can I interest you in some of my wares? Oh, sorry. What do you say? I missed what he said. I think he said something like, something like do you know, and... Nah, sorry folks, I didn't mean can to I cut it. Alright. Let's see if there's any last little bit we can buy. Any patches. Sure. We don't need it, but why not? <laughs> Clyde's wake, huh? Last little strap-ons. Uh, drain up to 50 damage from... Or 50 HP from Blade Dire. Oh, that's not bad. Add fly B and a uh, perfect attack. Can I enter... And any last minute consumables? We'll buy Clyde's wig. All right. Um, let's see. Actually, let's see. Just ah, now nah, we're we're good. I I should probably be doing like a ton of bleeding and all this other stuff. But I think I like what I've got. All right, final shop, final upgrades. But I think we're good. That's a counter princess Kenny and finish the game. Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. What are you doing? Wait, what's going on? Yes! Go, Princess 
Princess Kitty! Alright. For final boss time against Princess Kitty and Big Government in Man. You wanna throw with, down, dogs? I'll go down. With the most oddly chosen final boss music I've ever heard. Uh, I guess oh, I guess secret boss made that day thing. Alright, need to stun stun sleep and piss just because. Okay, well let's see what our options are. Let's uh Show start them with some Princess Kinney. Alright. Let's see, can she bleed? Do you bleed Princess Kinney? Oh, we can't mug her. Oh, I mean we could, but it wouldn't do it it wouldn't stun her. Oh, you do get bleeding. Oh. Well, good, good. As it should be. I'm glad. Let's get executed as well, just to get her for now a bit. Nice. Alright. And then, can she be grossed out? Let's find out. Lightning bolt! Haha! Mm -hmm. -ha! Nice. Looks like she's affected, uh, everything goes against her. I, I am glad for that. <laughs> Alright, what do you got, Princess Kenny? Ah, rainbows! Oh god! <laughs> I don't know why I just hear your like throw up is uh, in her in her muff is pretty funny. So I forgot, didn't I have something? If I no, that's when they're stunned and they're bleeding. So Princess uh, Kenny truly is the fairest maiden in all the land. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's uh. <laughs> Nice, more bleeding. Excellent. Alright, let's uh, buff up Cartman a bit, I think. That should work. Well, since he gets double attack because of his uh, or bonus to that, so. Alright. Um, yeah, let's uh, just. Uh, I know it ruins the music, but, you know, let's. Uh, it still does a, a lot of damage. Not very good Nice. Uh oh, what do we got? Ah, rats! Oh god. That was actually kind of painful. All right. What's her bleeding rank up right now? Four gross out burning is almost out. No, I don't know. You fools! Princess Kinney controls the universe. All right. Uh, Good work, just, Princess Kinney. Finish them off. That's just backstab, I guess. <laughs> Whoa! That's right. Respect our authority. Uh, that's it. It's all over, Princess Kinney. Douchebag is too powerful for you. <laughs> What's she doing? No, Kenny, don't drink that. Oh god! True final boss time against Nazi Nazi Princess Zombie Kenny! Right? Na Nazi Zombie Princess? Okay. This is it, King Douchebag! The final battle! Your buddies stand with you! I would just stand over here. Oh, you thanks. Will attack Princess Kenny! Uh. Oh, whoops. Dang it. Alright, looks like we can't choose Cartman for this fight. Uh, is it just a. Uh, her again. Okay, she's immune to gross this time, so we can't gross her out. Great. I hopefully we can still bleed her though. Let's see. Actually, Stan would be is a pretty solid choice for Good a work, final Princess party Kenny. member. Finish them off. And obviously, obviously, a butters for healing. Uh, I mean, any of the buddies can work, but. Uh, Too bad I didn't put any fire on my thing, but that's fine. No. Yeah, that's the one we want to do. Oh. There we go. If I remember correctly, this uh, this 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 fight's actually kind of hard. Um, not impossible, just like kind of difficult. Attack! All right, defense down. And what do I want to do? Did 
that one really. That didn't do as much Hit them with the zombie vomit! Like. Oh god. I think I've got to swap out Stan for someone else now. Alright. Yeah, let's see. Princess Kenny truly is the fairest maiden in all the land! She's a buff on me, I think. Actually, I yeah, I remember this one being far just because of all the damage. Kenny does and all this other stuff, so. Oh, I didn't know that his attack does, uh. Alright, let me swap out with. You got a health potion on you? Uh, yeah, let's do butters. Next! Come on, new kid! Let's show them what we can do! Death comes for you, Dragonborn! You'd better pray for a miracle! Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty! Do you not know that Death is a servant of chaos? Oh, uh, whoa! <laughs> Nuts. Well, that sucks. I didn't press X fast enough, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's get our buddy back up there. We need his help for this. Uh, come on. You kill Princess Kenny, I'll let you hold the stick of truth for a couple minutes. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. All right, let's backstab again. Get some more bleed up. Oh, oh, almost dead. Holy crap. All right. I think it's only... Actually, I might not kill him. With Professor Chaos, I may get a... Uh... You fools! Princess Kenny controls the universe! Yeah, let's just... All right, final attack of the game. Hero of Justice. Butters. Go, Butters, go. I'm sorry. You did it, Butters. You saved the day. Woo. Oh yes, my God. Me. You killed Kenny. Yeah, that. Oh, no, wait, he's back. Oh, quit scratching. What? What? Use no. your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny. <laughs> she looks more yeah. dead than she was before. I kill her again. That's not true. That's impossible! Alright, yeah, we gotta do it again. Alright. I'll just use, uh, no. I'll just use my turn to, uh, her, uh. Alright, time to keep bleeding. Come on, Princess Kenny, you can bleed. Alright, now let's heal with, uh, Butters. Yeah, that's it, little buddy. Alright, let's, uh,. Is Professor Chaos and see what ability we can unlock. Shield would be nice. Damage would be good. Ah, well, shield will work. Hit them with the zombie vomit! Alright. Let's see. Now let's go ahead and use another, uh speed potion. We're at the end of the game. Why not? Let's just get more more bleeding going on here. Just do. Keep backstabbing. Backstab. Backstab. Stack it on. Stack it on. Stack it on. No. Why not? It's a very effective ability. Alright, let me go ahead and use a uh, Another push on me, why not? Ow! Oh, uh, there we go. Whoops. Almost gave it to the wrong dude. Alright, don't have any. I don't have any, any PP for. Fight for a demon, hi! Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle! Uh oh. Not again. I, I should have switched a different dude just to, just to see. Uh... <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty! Do you not know that death is a servant? Okay, there we go. Got him. How can this be? Yeah, way to go, Butters. By the moon and the oh. stars in the skies, I swear we will destroy well, you. Well, that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Oh, well, that's fine, Butters. All right, let's keep doing this. Hey, stop fighting! 
Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kitty! Are you dead now? Come on! I think all the dying is making what? you tired! Keep killing her! Alright, once again. Vomit. Alright, let's uh, heal. You can, I hope, uh, I think you can kind of see where this is going, by the way. But uh, let's keep doing this. It, it, sometimes it depends on how, uh, um. Show them, Princess Kinyu. Kick the baby. Don't kick the goddamn baby. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it depends on, um, uh, on your, uh. Which is on, to on, if you can defend against that death ability, because I think that's what keeps uh, taking the battle to the next one. So this is why I always thought it was hard, just because of uh, how many times you have to keep fighting her uh, before uh, before you can uh, before you end the game. It does drag out a little bit, but I understand why. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny. What the hell are you doing? Uh, All right, tired. Alright, let's just keep. Yeah, let's just keep going. I really have nothing else to say. Basically, just make sure you're. Oh, I I was gonna use healing on uh, uh, Kyle. Whoops. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's just keep. Uh... Yes, drink your goo, Princess Kinney. You'll be invincible. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Whew, almost missed it. Yes. Lucky shot, but no matter. Princess Kinney still has lots of tricks up her puppy sleeves. All right, who's next? Hey, Jimmy? Yes. Ow, I hurt my leg. You better go on without me. All right, should have one more character to do for this, so. All right. And, uh, yeah, we're basically waiting for a specific ability to activate so that, uh, um... So Use that we can get to the next character. Ow. Alright. Oh, power cord would be good. That'll raise my PP. Oh, nope. Pull your fucking pig now my next tree. Nice. That was just a... Uh, there once was a maiden from st 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 Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she swoop. Boy did she swallow. I had a nice lamb that she said that. That she said set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom. Wow, where's the audience? All right, basically I just need to have a uh, keep a. Uh, uh, my allies up so we can get to their last little bit of the story so they all take part in the finale. I get what they were trying to do. I just kind of wish she just automatically went to that attack instead of uh, me having to go to a specific... Alright, come on. Use your ability. No. No? Okay. An amazing feat of skill. Alright, I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use my ability, uh, abilities and Try to wait Hit them with the zombie ability. vomit! <laughs> Dang it. She doesn't stay oh, dead, we can't we beat her! Till we're fucked! There's no way! There is one way! We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code! What? Carmen, you can't possibly mean- What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag! You remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you, to break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Burn on Princess Kitty's balls, King Douchebag! Do it! Alright. Let's do it. Fart on his balls! Wait, it's a girl. Now, King okay. Douchebag, fart on Princess Kitty's balls! What about the gentleman's oath? Well, we gotta do it, otherwise we can't, uh... Oh, I need, uh... I need some, uh... I need some mana potions. I need healing! No. You have to win! The future of the whole town is at stake! 
All right, now let's fire on his balls. Do we just need any ability or something? Or ah, let's just do Dragon Shot. That sounds about right. There we go. No. What? We're back to normal. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. So we had to break our gentleman's oath. Will we be respected evermore for farting on a person's balls? Let's find out. Guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? <gasps> we gotta do it! Alright, we gotta say something poignant. Screw Here we you go. Guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. What the? And thus in South Park the Stick of Truth. Kind of funny how they use the uh, kid talking if they never they don't do that in the sequel at all. That that's another day, but yeah, that's it. The South Park, the stick of truth. We saved the town. We've warped our best our could, and now we're done with fantasy. So who knows what will be next for the boys? Dinosaur hunters, pharaohs and mummies, superheroes. Uh, that kind of makes sense that screw you guys would be kind of the final thing our character would say before he goes. Although it kind of disregards what happens in the sequel though afterwards. But uh, eh, either way. But uh, what can I say about South Park, the stick of truth? I think it was a, a fun a fun game that kind of has a great callback to old point-click adventures of old. Uh, obviously, the, the humor is not for everyone, so obviously what I find funny, maybe the next person won't find funny, but... Uh, ooh. Now we actually get the game credits, if I remember correctly. Yep. So, anyway, let's, let's talk about the game itself. Uh, I think there's a lot of things to talk about, but obviously... Thanks Ubisoft for publishing it. I appreciate Obsidian Entertainment. They always make good games, even if they're slightly buggy, but they usually make very solid work. Thank you to Matt and Trey Parker for finally uh, making a, well, I guess considerably the first good South Park game. You could argue that with some of their earlier games, but overall, I think this is one of the first good ones, especially the fact that they had pretty, I wouldn't say pretty di direct control, but they had a very heavy hand in making this game. Unlike the sequel, where they almost did all the work for that one, from what I heard, but... Uh, what can we go on first? Uh, let's go with the music. I think the music was excellent. Uh, it had this kind of like, you know, fantasy theme to it, uh, um, but it had a lot of good tunes uh, uh, with your comedic, whimsy, bits of songs from the, the show. So everything was, was did what it had to do, and I think it, it made for an entertaining game with those lines out of the way. Uh, graphics, obviously it's based off the show, perfectly simulates the show in all ways and fashion uh you know with the choppy you know moving around and stuff like that uh so that was great i think it looks good for what it is i mean yeah true it looks like something that was made in like the late 90s you know but they've kept with that style and i think that i appreciate them kind of keeping generally around that with making improvements like in the background other such animations and they do it all from computers now and, and I guess because of the style they've been able to master it so much that they can finish an episode in a week when they actually do their season of episodes which is crazy um, I thought all the voice work was was excellent Trey Parker and Matt Stone did excellent work on voicing most of the characters and then the people who other like the couple of people that other voicers are in the game which is only a couple of different ones I thought they did a good job uh, so kept that all up to good a uh, story was pretty straightforward I mean obviously it was a joke on Lord of the Rings it was about getting the stick of truth but I like the fact that uh, that they threw in like 
zombies and all this other stuff just to kind of just throw away and just throw past the obvious like what would be the inspired fantasy thing so that was pretty pretty uh, uh hilarious uh oh yeah i forgot that this game was originally being made by thq before it even, or it was being published by thq before ubisoft got a hold was able to get the publishing rights for it because THQ went under. Uh, but yeah, it was a funny story overall. I mean, obviously, it was a great idea to make you the new kid, so it'd make, uh, give us a chance to for us to insert ourselves into the world. Obviously, we don't say anything, but uh, but yeah, they were taking a, pl a page out of the RPG handbook of original heroes being silent, you know, in old RPGs. Uh, but still making everything work around that was hilarious. Uh, yeah, and all the jokes that they made in the show, I think, were were very poignant for a lot of and funny for what what they were trying to tell. Even playing it again a second or multiple times, I still find myself laughing at similar parts. I mean, obviously, I have to give myself some time to forget some of the jokes, but when I get there, I'm like, oh yeah, huh, that's funny, you know. At least I thought it was funny. Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone. Um, what else can I say? I think the length of time for this game was pretty solid. I think this is. Like, what? yeah, you can beat this in, like, under 10 hours pretty easily. Maybe even less than that. Maybe even, like, 5 or 6 if you know what you're doing. Uh, so I think it knew when to stick around and when to gracefully finish the story without being around too long. I mean, you could tell, you could say that there maybe are a few slow parts in the game. Like, when you go out of your way for one place or another. But I still was entertaining. You know, like, going to Canada obviously seems out of the way for it. But I think it works with the humor and just the the idea of it just going to a whole other country just to get this like one little thing done it's like old rpgs you'd be sent to other places for almost weird reasons you know uh but it works i think um and i think there were just enough side quests with enough of the characters to to introduce other characters without but that staying too long you know it didn't do and I, i'm glad that the game didn't do all these whole fetch quests and all this other stuff i'm kind of glad that they didn't if that, or if they did something like that, it was more goo it was more silly than anything. I think, you know, uh, so at least they know what to keep and what to take out to make a very solid experience. Um, I thought the gameplay worked too. Obviously, there are their issues with the gameplay. It is basically point click or not point click. It is a turn based RPG, so you know how that works. Everyone takes their turns. In the for, for the most part, the fighting is pretty easy. Even if I remember correctly, even on the hardest difficulties, the game's pretty pretty easy i mean comparatively to other games as such but i don't think they were trying to make a difficult game it's just the sad thing is you can only do so much to make it more difficult because you can pretty much find a dominant strategy really quickly in this game and get to it but i think this was game was meant more to be made for fans who wanted to try out the game so and obviously there's an easy mode which is just less hp less abilities and stuff like that and i played the game on medium i probably could have easily beaten it on its hardest difficulty uh, without without too much trouble. I mean, I would just have had to... Basically, would have had to stick with a lot of certain builds to get that, but... But, I mean, I guess that would probably be the only knack is the easiness of the, of the game. But, luckily, when they did the sequel to the game, they added a lot more. They changed up the fighting slightly, added new abilities, tried to maximize money usage and all this other stuff. Um... And I, and I like the fact that the end of the game it was just kind of a twist, how all of a sudden Kenny just decided to be the bad guy of Morgan Freeman and pops out and tells the story, you know. I don't know, I just... I mean, any, any other movie or game, it'd be weird, but for this, it works. So, anyway, I truly enjoyed this game, and I hope you did as well. Uh, it was a fun ride while it lasted. I know I didn't grab everything, but I tried the best I could, and I hope you enjoyed me watching it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, folks, and I'll see you in the next uh, when I play my next game. See you then. Oh, and I guess a last little side note, when you beat the game, you can do free roam mode, which basically allows you to finish any, like, quests, uh, if you didn't have any, I guess, um, any, get any last little collectibles or friends or something like that. As far as I know, there are no, uh, uh,
enemies, so you can't really level up, and it's, if you're needing to gain money to buy those like last little bits of equipment or anything like that, you're basically going to have to farm uh, um, uh, 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 I don't know why my brain shut off there for a second. You know, those uh, like pay, pay tolls and stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I wonder if the original idea was to have DLC for this. That's why they had a free roam after the game's over. But, uh, oh well. Um, either way, I uh, just wanted to say that last little bit for here. But yeah, I'll leave you off with a new kid. What new adventures will wait for the new kid? Will he just stick around at South Park, living the rest of his days out in, in peace and harmony? Or will some new adventure or LARPing session occur? Find out next time in, well, the Fractured Butthole game whenever you guys decide to play it or if I ever decide to record it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time when I play another game. See y'all then, folks.